Hello, this is Mama from Gardening Life. Um, we have an idea. Right now, we have some weed fabric here where we typically plant peppers and some peas or noodle beans over here. <coughs> but it's becoming cumbersome because on this side, we have raised beds. So this doesn't get tilled, but we still need this side to be tilled, which is kind of inconvenient. Till them what tilling is. So tilling is where we have this big piece of machinery on the back of our tractor that that makes this goes deep down into the ground and basically pulverizes the dirt. Okay, and makes it easier to plant. And it takes up the weeds and things like that, although we have a few weeds still left. But the idea being that we get rid of these pepper rows, build more of these wooden box beds over here, and then basically from this line here forward is everything that gets tilled so you basically strike the line across from here to here and all this would just be raised beds all through here and then that leaves from this line forward all this area out here to be tilled so what that means is we've displaced our peppers and our peas well, over here, we've put in 80 potatoes is entirely too much for our little family, uh, grandmas and grandpas included. So instead, what we're going to do is take one of these panels for all the potatoes and displace, put the displaced uh, peppers over here. And then that clears up space for the raised beds. And then that allows this panel here which doesn't normally get anything planted in it, we can take and put extra holes in one of these rows that's through here, and we can plant our peas or noodle <clears throat> beans, and then everything will be good to go and have a better, a better home. So I think that will help clear up some of our space, give us some new raised beds. We can do carrots and beets and um, some other root type vegetables that we can't grow in these other beds anymore because the fruit has taken over, which is a good thing. That's what we wanted. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of where we're at. And something that I suggested is like, since we're going to have potatoes here, but not this year, since their roots get so big, I feel like we're not going to plant this entire row going all the way down. And, but we plant these five rows right here. That way the roots over here don't kill the peppers right here. Am that's, I, the, that's the plan. And why don't you give them a little bit more of a tour of the garden? Well, so far the garden's really not filled out yet, but what we're going to do is this panel here will have zucchini in it, both green and yellow. And then these are our 50 holes for all of our tomato plants. We plant a variety of tomatoes here. Um, on this side, these little teeny tiny holes, this is typically where we put our green beans. And our purple beans. What, what goes here? This row here is kind of up for grabs. <coughs> sometimes it gets planted, sometimes not. Um, we had okra here one year and it did really good, but this trellis on this side is where the cucumbers typically live. And clearly these are not cucumbers, these are weeds. Uh, but they'll come out soon. Uh, but what they did was the cucumbers actually grew up the stalk of the, the okra. It was quite funny. And something else that we did a couple of years ago, since we saw that the pickles um, grew, grew up the okra, we decided to put tea posts in right here and zip tied them to these. That way the um, pickles can just climb right up it. And then on this side, right here, this side had zucchini rampicante in it last year, also called uh, trombolino squash. They were actually pretty quite cool. Uh, it's one of the most unique squashes that they have where it can be a spring squash um, for soft cutting and sauteing, or you can wait until it's a hard, a hard shell squash and then use it for more like a winter squash. And um, tell them what a zucchini ripicante looks like. So if they grow on the ground, there's a bulb at the end, but the whole trunk of it kind of
kind of comes up over like this. If they do in fact grow with trellis, they'll they'll grow with the bulb on the bottom and then just a long tube on the top. Basically. It, and when they curl, it looks like a tuba. It does. It's pretty cool. Over here? So over here, this panel gets planted to cantaloupe. Or muskmelon, we call it muskmelon. This panel will get planted into watermelon. And then these two panels get planted into, um, I'm sorry, this panel gets acorn squash and butternut squash. And then this panel is all pumpkin. So this corner is left open for a variety of different things. Sometimes we put flowers. Um, sometimes we put corn. Sometimes we put corn. We grew glass gem corn last year up here in this corner and it came out pretty cool. And then we used the corn stalks to decorate the front of the house. That was pretty neat. But I think I'm gonna throw a bunch of um, sunflower seeds out here too and we'll see what happens. Thank you. Have a great day.